everyone, Britton here. If you've ever looked at a drawing of a volcano and wondered where do I start, then I hope today's video helps. We're going to look at some techniques for coloring lava and a couple of details like smoke and embers. So let's get started. So I've got my volcano and my sky colored in with my base colors here and I'm just going to start by using my bloom tool and adding some areas of variation in what will eventually be my flowing lava. The lava isn't all one color. As it cools there are different areas that are hotter and cooler than others and, and that creates some variation in the colors. Okay and there's a probably about a thousand different ways you could come up with to tackle this particular issue with lava but uh, this is the one that I found to be most useful. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my marker tool and the color black and I've decided that I want to make this area at the base of my volcano where it spreads out. I want to make that the part that's crackly and cooled down. So I'm going to start by putting in these hand drawn areas um, that kind of look like jigsaw puzzle pieces and you'll see what I mean by that. I'm going to follow the shape of each one that I draw over and over again until I've got all of these pieces that sort of look like they've broken off from each other and they all fit just like that. So the total effect when you're all done is rock that's cooled and cracked apart, which is pretty impressive looking. There you go. Takes a while, but really cool effect. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my bloom tool again and I'm gonna make my lava just a little more red. You don't have to do that, by the way, but I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take my marker tool and I'm gonna use bright colors like yellow and white. And I'm just drawing in really quickly these areas of um, hot, fresh lava. And with my airbrush tool, I'm going over the tops of those to make it look like they're glowing. With my bloom tool again, I'm gonna make a glowing effect on the outside rock areas so it kind of looks like the lava is casting a glow over the nearby rock and now I can start on my sky which I'm using the fade tool for that putting in some purple and blue and when that's all done I am going to start on my smoky clouds and for that I'm going to use um, the watercolor brush which is really cool for creating a smoky effect so it's kind of an off-white or a gray color I'm going to start brushing that in just like that. And another little detail you can add is embers, and that's just the stuff that comes spewing out of the top of, vol of a volcano. And I used um, marker tool and splatter brush for that. Probably lots of different things could get the same result though. There you go. So you can go back in and clean anything up that you want to, make things darker, brighter, add little details whatever you like but that's one cool method for making lava i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have ideas for future tutorials please comment below this is britain for pigment thanks for watching